Good morning from Duxford Imperial War Museum. Today we're going in search of Spitfires. Let's go Duxford. Good morning everybody. Something different today. Today we have come to the Imperial War Museum at Duxford in search of Spitfires. This is Duxford. We have the uh, space hangar. Wayne doing his photography. The flying hangar. And in the distance we have, she zooms in, the airspace and the American hangar. The Duxford do have a guide as to what's on, why it's Duxford in the outdoors. And of course we have the map of Duxford itself. All the different areas marked out. But if you've been here as much as I have, you don't actually need the map. You know which hangars which really. And all the hangars are labelled as to which one that they are. So a slightly closer view of some of the outdoor attractions here, the older airlines. Over in the distance there is a Spitfire and a space that used to be a hangar, as well as an active field during World War One and Two. Duxford also has been used as a film set for the Battle of Britain movie. And this whole area in front, they built a hangar on, which was then blown up as part of the movie. Another thing you can do at Duxford is you can learn to fly and people do actually hold their aircraft here as well. You can go up in the Tiger Moth, one by a company called Classic Wings. And one of the other experiences they offer is that you can fly tip to tip with a Spitfire. We've got the V701 Viscount, one of the earlier transatlantic airplanes. Pre-Covid on some of the planes you used to be able to go up inside them. Fortunately, now it's not the case. They've all had to be closed, which is a bit of a shame. Up this end of the airfield you've got the American Air Museum. Again, sadly closed because of Covid guidelines. There are some quite interesting planes in there, including the Blackbird. Which one is it? Sorry, Blackbird. The SR-71. As mentioned before, at the moment, due to government guidelines, we're not allowed to go into the hangars to see the aircraft up close. But what Duxford are doing is they are opening the hangar doors so you can have a look inside. So let's go and see what we can find. This Spitfire, there is actually a programme done by Guy Martin, which actually documents its rebuild and repatriation. And it's beautiful. More views of Guy Martin's Spitfire. This whole hangar is dedicated to the Battle of Britain. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to go in there at the moment. So this is their flying collection. On days, occasionally, they do have what they call showcase flying days, yep. which we will be coming back to do. And hopefully you get to see some of these lovely beasts in action. At the moment, coming to Duxford isn't too bad an experience. A lot more to see than we first thought. Lots of interesting things going on. Staff are very keen to interact and advise, update us and it's nice to see things flying in the air again. Fed, watered, now going to go in search of more Spitfires. Two beautiful Spits outside the airport restoration centre. And it is a beauty. Two seater double up, well one's been lucky today. And this is why I come to Duxford. This tradition with every trip to Duxford. It's time to go and investigate the shop. Like every government building and shop, masks have to be warm. Let's go have a look. Welcome to Duxford shop. Spitfire caps. I might have to get one of those this time. <laughs> Doggies. 
Wayne, you looking at the merch? Merch. What are you looking for? In search of the fudge. They have quite an extensive book collection. And some of their Christmas stuff still out as well. Historical typewriter. Quite a few various books and pictures and information about Spitfires. And a few models for the enthusiasts. Including the Spitfire with clear canopy. Vulcan. Red Arrow. Another Spitfire. And the Lancaster used in the Dam Busters. And there we have it. Today has been a great day. More aircraft flying than we anticipated. Hopefully when we come back next time, there'll be even more. And who knows, it might even be a fun showcase day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye bye.